What's up, everybody? So today we are going to be continuing our Defending series, or Lessons in the Dark Arts, as I like to call it. So for today, what we're going to be working on is how to approach an attacker as a defender. The keys to this are you don't want to sprint as hard as you can at them, and you don't want to come at them straight. We are going to bend our run, and we are going to decelerate as we get close to the ball. That way, we can get into our defensive stance, and we can kind of try to control where the attacker can go. All right, so let's get started. So if you notice here, I bent my run to the right. That way, I am pushing him out to the left over here. My right foot is on this side of the ball here. That way, if the attacker tries to come this way, I can easily step into their way. But if they go the direction that I want to go, I can come with them or I could even turn in front of them. All right, so now I'm going to do an approach run to push them to the opposite direction. So, notice, same thing, it's just reversed. Now my left foot is blocking off this area here, and I'm allowing them to go to this direction. That way, we as defenders are in a little bit of control. Now, why would you want to push a defender to a particular side? Well, there's various reasons. One of them could be you're trying to push them to the outside, away from the goal. Because outside away from the goal, they're going to be less dangerous. Also, the sideline can act as a second defender because they can't just dribble out of bounds. But you also might push them towards a teammate, towards another defender. This is something that we're going to have to work on communication with and the second defender, which is for another video. And the third reason we might want to push them to a particular direction it's if we notice they're not very good at, with one foot. So if a player is very, very right-footed, we might want to put them on their left foot because they're less confident on it and they're less likely to actually be able to beat you to the left. The opposite would be true for a very left-footed player that's not comfortable going to their right. All right, so next time, we're gonna cover another aspect of the dark arts. Peace. That was good.